Bricklink is rockin'. Let's get into it. Welcome back to another episode of A Look at the Set, and today we're looking at another Bricklink Series 5. Today we're doing Rock and Roll Trailer by, I know I'm going to say this wrong, Basimon Guan. Sorry if I mispronounced that horribly or how it's supposed to go together. It's just a guess. My best guess. I apologize. Anyways, this is your rock and roll trailer set. It comes with 1,691 parts. 363 of those are unique pieces. Six stickers. And by the look of it, six minifigures as well. This is a pretty cool set where you have the full trailer and it unravels to have a rock and roll stage. You even got some palm trees that has some lights in it. But let's take a little bit of a closer look. Here it is all folded up. You got guitarists and singers and drummers and a bit of everything. You got the flames going down the side of the truck like heck yeah. Here's another picture of it up. You got the drummer there. You got some other people there. But then you can see in the background there's a ton of different stuff. You got the big speakers. You got the lights overhead. You got flames in the back. And then it shows where it folds and holds it open. And then here is a picture of the front cab. A ton of different stuff open, so obviously the uh, trailer driver can go inside. You got the top that opens up top there. You got the door that opens, and you got the front hood that opens so you can repair your engine when you inevitably break down on the side of the road because trucks do that. <laughs> Anyways, this is the front of the cab. Got more flames. Love that the theme is throughout the whole set. And even more into the cab, it looks like they have like a little hidden area that looks like it could be like a sound booth to control sound and it's hidden in the trailer so you can open up and see inside. Here is the back of the trailer so that folds down as well. Everything, everything folds and moves pretty much. I love the fact that they have the rock and roll on there. So that's definitely a sticker. That would be a very big sticker though, but worth it. Definitely worth it. Here's another angle, back angle of it all folded up, but then you also have other stuff, like the lights up there, they fold down, turn into search lights, which is good. You make use of your lights, but you have lights to really make sure the show is going on and people can see that you. Another angle of how it folds up a bit, because you have like those uh, trusses that have to come down, get out of the way, which is great. It's pretty fantastic how they were able to get it to where it folds up this small. And then here's just another thing you can do with it. You can literally pull it apart. They can come apart in pieces, which is really cool. So you don't have to have it hooked up at all times. You can separate it out. And then here's a look at your six figures. We got a couple, I'm guessing guitarists and bass guitarists. Uh, you have your drums. Looks like that person is doing a little bit of DJ. Maybe the singer over on the far left, not really sure. And then the truck driver. Obviously, you gotta supply your own fans, but that's fine. Six Figures is great to get this started. It's just the truck, it's not the fans. Those, they need to come in, they need to get some tickets. Come and see the show. But this is a really cool set. I love how it can fold up, open, all that sort of things. And with the lights, they have some colored lights they're not they don't actually light up but if you got a light kit and you did that that would be pretty cool i bet it'd look really cool to see all those colors going against the backsplash of the stage so that was rock and roll trailer by that person uh let me know in the comments below what series five set you want me to check out next and good luck to everyone who entered all right have a great day bye